Today in Madden 23, I have five years to save the career of Odell Beckham Jr. Odell will have five years to accomplish three of the five following goals. If he accomplishes those goals in that time frame, his career will be a success. And if he does not, his career will be a failure. Odell must have 1,200 receiving yards in a single season. He must help a team get to the playoffs. He must win an Offensive Player of the Year. He must become a 95 overall in Madden and obviously win a Super Bowl. For every challenge that Odell completes on this challenge wheel, he will then be able to get one of the following upgrades. The first thing we need to know is which team, though, is Odell Beckham Jr. going to be on? Because right now he is a free agent. He didn't sign this year. So which team is Odell going to be on? He's going to be going to the Carolina Panthers. And because this is year one, we are going to go ahead and give Odell Beckham Jr. a free upgrade. And what is it going to be? It's going to be plus five to every single speed stat. He already has some pretty good speed stats. I would not be surprised if upgrading these stats by five each would put him to like a 90 overall. His agility is going to be maxed out. And with those upgrades, that will make Odell Beckham Jr. a 90 overall. We are going to actually go ahead and take a look at the first drive a little bit for OBJ here on the Carolina Panthers. And he's going up against his former team. The Cleveland Browns. And there is OBJ. First play from scrimmage making a catch for 17. This is a pretty good one-two combo at the wide receiver spot. You got DJ Moore and you have OBJ. Sam Darnold with Dante Foreman getting the carry. And with OBJ on this team, first drive of the entire season gets into the red zone here. And Sam Darnold's playing great until yeah. Miles Garrett's going to come from behind and sack him. Pretty solid drive, though, for this team. After this, we're going to skip to midseason of year number one. But can we get the ball to OBJ? Darnold again. Here comes Miles Garrett. Not surprising, but the Panthers at midseason are two and five. Odell winds up playing six games. He's on a pace of about 60 yards receiving per game. He has two touchdowns in this with 27 receptions on the season. The Panthers at the end of year one go six and 11. It's going to be tough to save Odell, but it's going to be even tougher to save the Panthers. DJ Moore outperforms Odell Beckham Jr. in 15 games. Odell has 809 receiving yards with four touchdowns. And that will bring us to our first challenge. And here we go. We need some upgrades for Odell. Maybe even get him traded off the Carolina Panthers. That would probably be the best thing. And we need the first goal in an NHL online game. Oh, breakaway. Sveshnikov. Sveshnikov. We're using the Hurricanes because we're using the Panthers. Carolina Andre Sveshnikov gets us an upgrade. That is awesome, though, because we need an upgrade for OBJ. Trade him or get him a better quarterback. I'll take either. Come on, trade, trade, trade. Don't go to catching... That is what we need. We need them to get off the Carolina Panthers. So we have a wheel of the top five teams here. We have the Bills. We have the Bengals. We have the Chiefs. We have the 49ers. We have the Eagles. Which team is Odell going to? The Chiefs would be awesome. It'd be the number one receiver for them. Is it going to be 49ers or Bills, though? He's going to the Buffalo Bills. OBJ on the Buffalo Bills is an 89 overall going into year two. There's a good chance he's going to make the playoffs and possibly win a Super Bowl. Odell probably got two upgrades at once because not only did he get a top five team, he's got a top five QB too. So I could probably take that off the wheel. We don't need that. Another play action for Allen. He'll get out of the pocket. And Chris Jones is chasing him. Slings it across the field for nobody. Final play we're going to watch. If he doesn't get a catch here, I'm going to jump in and give Odell Beckham Jr. a catch. And then we're going to back out. But it's actually going to be Dawson Knox. And Dawson Knox is going to take it for the touchdown. But after that touchdown, I want to jump in and get Odell one catch on his new team. And Odell Beckham Jr., there it is. And we are going to back out to midseason. Surprisingly, halfway through the season, the Bills are 3-4. and four. Is Odell cursed? Odell is leading this team in receiving, though. He was competing with DJ Moore last time. Now it's Stephon Diggs. But through seven games, 583 receiving yards for Odell and three touchdowns. The Bills wind up going 9-8 and eight in year two, which is good enough to make the playoffs. Odell, at the end of year two, the 1,143 yards, 87 receptions, and five touchdowns. And with the Bills making the playoffs, we can cross off the first goal. The Bills regroup in the second of the season just good enough to get into the playoffs at nine and eight surprising they are the seventh seed there's a first we'll watch this first drive see if odell gets a catch or two maybe result in a touchdown then we're going to super send the rest of this game there's going to be a run when did buffalo become the best run offense in the entire nfl well, we got odell top of the screen gabe davis next to him josh allen's going to throw he looks for odell and odell <laughs> That was an interesting way to get the playoffs started for Odell Beckham Jr. and the Buffalo Bills. We have a high-scoring game here. 21-10 to in Jacksonville. Are the Bills going to move on or are they getting knocked out? Jags make it 28-10. Bills make it 28-13. But the Jags have put this one out of reach. Back to the challenge will we go for year three. We accomplished one goal so far. We need to get more and we need the first touchdown to man an online game. Let's see if the Bills online... Can get me a touchdown. You can't press Stephon Diggs. Go, Diggs. Breaks the tackle, and I got to do it against my Giants. Let's see if we can go over the top here. Right through the middle. It's Sweeney. McKenzie will probably get open here. No, he won't, but Diggs will. 
Diggs absolutely cooking this game. They go to Davis or McKenzie here for a touchdown. McKenzie it is. Isaiah McKenzie holds on and we get an upgrade for Odell. I would like to get Odell up to a 95 overall. We got him on a good team. So we need some overall upgrades. And 10 plus route running across the board is going to be nice. So we go ahead and we make a short route running from an 81 to a 91. His medium route running from 77 to 87. And the deep from 82 to 92. And that will make Odell Beckham Jr. a 92 overall. The Bills are having problems pulling away in the AFC East at 4-3. and three. Odell threw seven games, has 440 yards, which is third compared to Gabe Davis and Stephon Diggs. Josh Allen finished first in the league in touchdowns and first in the league in yards. 5,400 yards and 51 touchdowns. Odell, again, just falls short of that mark of 1,200 yards to accomplish a goal. He does score 10 touchdowns, though, with 1,117 yards. But because we've already watched the wild card round, we're not going to jump in until about the AFC Championship game so we are going to simulate here and hope that the bills are in the divisional round let's hope that they win they win now they have to go to kansas city you know what we'll jump in it's a snow game too looks like we're catching a good one here today in kansas city the bills and the chiefs always have great playoff games odell oh i thought he was going there he actually goes to i believe gabe davis second at inches for the buffalo bills you got odell at the bottom of the screen and it's a gift to the running back for the first can the bills answer here the chiefs got three points of the opening drive can they keep their drive alive? Josh Allen all day to throw. Only rushing three. Cannot have any more time. And he finds a wide open game. Davis with the 38. Bills now in the red zone. They're first and 10 from the 17. Can Odell score the touchdown? Josh Allen will go out wide to Dawson Knox. After this drive, we're going to go ahead and super sim to the end of this game. We don't want to watch too many games here just in case they go to the championship game, the Super Bowl, and the next few years too. After a holding call, now it's second and goal. We want Odell to win Super Bowls. So we hope that Josh Allen and the Bills could take the lead. The ball is given to J.K. Dobbins. Not really sure about that play call. Oh, they just converted a big third down before. So can they do it again? I believe Odell's at the bottom of the screen. You can't even see him right now, but I know he's there. All the way out right to the right. But instead, it's going to be a screen to J.K. Dobbins. And it's going to be fourth and goal. Chiefs have piled it on so far, but the Bills are making a late comeback. And we have a tie game. That is unbelievable. The Chiefs were just up 27-6. Unbelievable. Are they going to punt? Are the Chiefs going to punt? They are going to punt Josh Allen. Odell and the Bills have a chance to win this game, which is just ridiculous. Third and seven. No more time left. We're in overtime. Who has the ball first? The Bills are going to get it first, but overtime playoff rules are in effect. I think in Madden, I would hope at least. Second and ten. Third and ten. We got to jump in. Is he going to do it again? Already at the 36-yard line, just needing a field goal. It's a six-yard rush by Isaiah Pacheco. An eight-yard reception by Kadarius Toney. It is first and ten from the 39. Mahomes is going to do it again. He's going to rip the hearts out of Bills fans. The ball is given Isaiah Pacheco, but he is going to lose yards. Mahomes from the 34. It's third and five. Oh, he had a wide open Juju. I don't know what Juju was doing. For the game to knock the Bills out of the playoffs. If not, they'll have great field position to knock the Chiefs out of the playoffs. They just faked it. Are they crazy? They're crazy. Only in Madden Sims, people. Only in Madden Sims. Madden makes no sense sometimes. Why would they not just kick the field goal? Why would they fake it to Travis Kelsey on a field goal? It's third and six for the Bills. 14-yard pickup for Diggs. Five-yard pickup. This team's going to the AFC Championship. The Chiefs have just choked. First and 10. And it's over. The Bills won. Did they kick a field goal? Why would they kick it from the 21-yard line? But that is what happens. They kick the field goal for the win. We basically just watched the entire divisional game. So we're going to skip the championship. Hopefully we find ourselves in the Super Bowl. We will be going to the Super Bowl against Dallas. And we will go ahead and jump in to the full first drive for the Buffalo Bills. The Cowboys got the ball first. They punted. And we're going to watch this entire drive. The Bills get the ball second here. But the defense makes a play. And they have great field position in their first drive. The ball, though, given to J.K. Dobbins, who's going to get a couple yards. Cowboys went three and out. Are the Bills going to go three and out? After this, we super sim and jump in the key moments. Cowboys actually have a home Super Bowl, too. This is at AT&T Stadium. Josh Allen, here comes Micah. And Micah Parsons is going to drop Josh Allen. We are now going to get a fast super sim here. Dallas takes the lead 7-0. They take the lead 14-21-0. Oh, no. They're going to need another comeback here if Buffalo wants to win this game. 24-7. Bills make it 14 to 24, but they can't stop Dallas. If they can stop it, we'll jump in. But Dallas is just pounding it on. And the Bills, Odell, are going to lose. We were so looking forward to accomplishing a goal for Odell, but they lose in the Super Bowl. What a disappointing end to year three. I thought we were going to get Odell a Super Bowl championship. And now to get another upgrade, we have to get an elimination war zone. Oh, I found somebody. Run him over. Oh, he's right there. 
I missed him. I gotta run this guy over. Come here. This is for an Odell upgrade. Come here. This is for an Odell upgrade. He's down. Get out of the car. Where'd he go? Oh, he's right there. Finish him. Yeah, that's an Odell upgrade right there. He did not know we were playing for an Odell upgrade, but we did. So that's what's important. And we can upgrade any stat I want to a 99. We're also going to skip to the end of the season going forward. So I was looking at all the stats and his release seems to be one of the lowest stats right now for a wide receiver. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make that a 99. But Odell just can't break that 95 mark. I think it's because he's 32 years of age. There's good news and there's bad news for Odell. First, the bad news, the Bills go 7 and 10. The good news though is that Odell Beckham Jr. gets over that 1,200 receiving yard mark. And with Odell getting 1,200 yards this season, we can cross off our our second goal. One more challenge, one more year for Odell to get to a 95, win the Super Bowl, and possibly win Offensive Player of the Year. We need the first points in NBA 2K game. We lost the tip, which isn't good. We play good defense, though. We get the board. This is huge. We want to get him to a 95. Van Vliet, just go. Cutting. Ananobi. OG Ananobi. That is huge. I honestly don't know what I want. Do I want like a stat upgrade or reset him to like 25 years old? That might help. We already have max release. I forgot to take that off the wheel. So we're going to have to spin that one again. We cannot use plus 20 release. We can max out his route running. That would be cool. We get him an X factor, X factor. That's not really going to help us overall. However, we do give him that superstar X factor. The Bills make the playoffs in Odell's final year going 12 and 5. Maybe that X factor is going to help Odell out a bit because he almost gets to 1,400 yards, six touchdowns. Did he please get to a 95 overall? A 91. But we're not going to jump into any games until we get to the Super Bowl. So you know what? We're just going to sim to the Super Bowl and hope that the Bills wind up being here. And then we'll see if they got knocked out, where they got knocked out. But let's see. Can we see the Bills and Odell? One last chance at the big game. A few moments later. Oh, I thought we were in. It's Ravens Rams. And the Dolphins winded up beating the Bills in the wild card anyway. It wasn't even suspenseful. The Dolphins win 49 to 35. Sadly, with only completing two of the five goals, we did not save Odell Beckham Jr.'s career. The video, everyone, if you enjoyed, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new. In the comments down below, let me know what video, what challenge do you want to see next. Peace.